Hey, if you've been seeing those gorgeous book overlays out there and you have been dying to create your own, but you don't know exactly how to do it or where to start, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create the design using Canva. I'm going to share with you all the supplies that you need to get them printed, where to print it. I'm going to show you the size that you need to create the design in, and I'm going to share with you the cost. So if that's something that you want to see, make sure you stick around. Before we jump into today's video, make sure you give this video a like, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Canva, go to create a design and use custom size. The size of my book is 5.25 by eight. So I'm going to create the size just a tad smaller so that it fits nicely in the book. So for me, that's going to be five by eight and go ahead and hit create new design. At this point, you can go ahead and upload all the images that you're going to use for your design. You can also use design within Canva, just make sure that they are licensed for commercial use. So I'm going to do a mixture of both. I'm going to use my art and I'm also going to use images from Canva. So let's go first do that. I already have it here because I've done it a couple times just to run it through so it's nice and smooth for you guys. I went ahead and searched for Christmas background and this is the one that I settled on. I am going to set the image as a background and I can either leave it like this or I can change the transparency. I believe I didn't really touch the transparencies too much in my design. I believe I left it like that and it still came out pretty light as you can see so i am going to set that as a background i am also going to look for christmas ornaments basically but i know that it's going to be here somewhere because i've searched for it a few times so we are going to select the ornament that I want to use and I will change the transparency on that a little bit. I'm also going to make it a little smaller. I am going to change the transparency like that. And let me see, I wonder if I also messed with the, I'm pretty sure I did something with the filter yeah i like that one i mean there are endless possibilities here with canva so really you can do whatever is pleasing to you whatever you feel like doing you can just take advantage of all the tools inside canva and just design it as you want as you can see there are so many different things you can do i'm going to use that one let's change the transparency just a little more and then i'm going to go ahead and copy it and copy it one more time and then now it's running across the top like so then i'm going to go ahead and use my art and remove the background and i am just going to make it as big as i want just to make sure that it fits the page again this is to your preference you design it like you want but this is how i want mine to look like and for me that is pretty much it i didn't do much more than this on this particular design i'm going to be designing other ones and here's another one that i designed that i really liked i did two different ones because i wanted to see the color i did it in this color and i did it in this color and i just wanted to see what they would look like and i'm pretty pleased with the way it came out so once you are done with your design the next thing you have to do is go to share then download and then download as a png and then you will transfer that image that you downloaded onto a flash drive and that is what you're going to take to staples okay so this is what the final product looks like it came out adorable i am absolutely in love with it as you can see so it fits perfectly inside the book like so and this is what it looks like behind the book it looks absolutely adorable and what that paper is it is this 
vellum paper. I got it from Amazon. I have it linked below if you are interested in getting it or you can find your own. Either way, I just wanted to link it just for easy access for you. You need to get vellum paper that is printable on laser. So make sure that it, you can print it on laser. I tried a test. I have an inkjet printer and I tried printing it here to see what it would look like and it does not work. Like it kept smudging. It was just not it. So if you have a laser printer at home, then I guess you could do it at home. But if not, then what you do is you go to Staples to get it printed. Now the cost associated with this is about 50 cents a print. I did a test of like three prints and it came out to about a dollar fifty something like that so they are a little bit I, th I think it's like 50 cents a print so um depending on how many prints you get depending on how many different variations you have it's going to cost you you know about 50 cents a print so that is pretty much the gist on that so yeah that's pretty much it for creating overlays for your book and where to print them and how to size them if you are interested in pre-ordering the book i have the link where to pre-order in the description box below if you like videos like this make sure you watch this video next and until next time god bless you